plenty of Easter egg hunts this weekend, but the forecast, it was, it was beautiful this weekend. Now we're looking at clouds moving in. So thankfully we held this off uh, from the weekend and now we're dealing with it as we get into the week. So 79 right now from Bushfield Airport, looking at temperatures across the area, also in the 70s and even some low 80s still hanging in there right now. So a pretty warm feel right now across the area and very comfortable to be outdoors without a jacket. Maybe even can get away with some shorts and a short sleeve shirt. But as far as tonight, we are going to see things staying nice and mild. So also may be able to get away without a light jacket because we're looking at temperatures staying in the 70s through about 10 p.m. tonight and then only looking at those low temperatures getting down towards the 60s by tomorrow morning. So low to mid 60s across the area. Definitely a mild start for this time of year and we are going to keep cloud cover around as well, which is also helping us keep uh, things a little bit more milder for the nighttime hours. As we look at the next three days, though, uh, looking at this snapshot of Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, we can go ahead and take this full screen. We're looking at uh, a dry and warm Tuesday storms moving in by Wednesday, but then sunshine does return as we do head as early as Wednesday even, but definitely by Thursday. But you can see a large temperature drop uh, between tomorrow and Thursday, almost 20 degrees down towards the 60s for highs. We're looking at the hour by hour forecast here and just talking about cloud cover staying pretty consistent through tonight, maybe even increasing in coverage. Still could see some filtered sunshine for tomorrow, and that should be enough to get those temperatures up towards the low 80s for your Tuesday afternoon. Overnight into Wednesday, you can see temperatures still in the 70s ahead of this front. So that is very warm for nighttime hours and there could be the potential for some strong to severe storms as this front is pushing through during the time frame that a lot of us will be sleeping before the sun does rise. As we continue though uh, towards your Wednesday afternoon, you can see temperatures only in the 60s, but lots of sunshine making a return. And we are going to see those temperatures try to rebound closer to about 70, it looks like, as we head throughout your afternoon on Wednesday. Thursday looking nice as we start off with clear skies and those temperatures just chillier down towards the 40s. As far as that severe outlook, though, for tomorrow into Wednesday morning, so this is mainly for tomorrow night through Wednesday morning that we're talking about that time frame for storm activity. A marginal to slight risk across the area right now. That slight risk doesn't encompass the entire CSRA or at least 75% of the area, so no first alert issued just yet, but we're definitely watching it pretty closely. Right now, damaging winds could be top of mind, and then maybe that hill and tornadic threat after that. Not looking at much of a flood threat with this system as it is going to be a quick moving system. We are going to see uh, the wind field, though, increase with this system as it approaches the area and also departs. So tomorrow, we're still looking at wind gusts over 20, 25 miles an hour at times throughout the afternoon. Getting into Wednesday morning, you can see 30 to 40 mile per hour gusts look to be possible with some of those storms that could be swinging through and then behind that as we see high pressure begin to build back in Wednesday and the Thursday we're going to see the return of some breezier conditions with those wind speeds staying elevated over 30 miles an hour at times through your Thursday so some very breezy conditions ahead for the middle to end of this work week we do dry things out nicely for the weekend but temperatures staying in the 60s all right thanks for that Mikkel some dogs are hoping you 